Okay, so. Game number one is Lux Illuminated versus, and Shen versus Lilia and Lux Illuminated. So, the entire plan with this is that we just take advantage of Barrier um, and some of the Shen spells, such as Moral Support, which is a two-mana barrier spell, which I think is kind of broken. Uh, and the fact that Lux gains barrier as well is just a really good thing for Shen. So he's going to level really quick. And we can do really well then into, like, stat-based decks like this. Because barrier just, like, destroys these kind of decks. So let's see how we perform here. Choose a place to die. Do not feel. Think. I'm empty inside. I feel like I've heard his vo the, the voice actor for this card before. The mortal coil ends. I've definitely heard it before. I need to figure out where from though. Okay, let me just have the. Observe. Learn. So we'll push the three, we'll play Shen, because then we'll get blockers for next turn. <laughs> and then we can play the uh, Screeching Dragon on five. Just what I needed. So basically playing this just stops their attack next turn, which is just really good. Don't want to pass because if they just pass back, it's really bad for us. Uh, just thinking now, if we top deck a box, no, a single combat. Yeah, so we'll go for Screeching Dragon, and then we can have the uh, single combat for any shenanigans that my opponent may do. Okay, so we're sleeping that. Mr. Jaro Lightfeather can uh, take some blocks here. And we just need one more barrier. And then we have our Shen leveled. That's pretty good. But like I said, this doesn't really become an issue because we're just going to continuously uh, stack up. They all died. They cling to my wings. So we'll play this. Then we'll play Screeching Dragon. And then when they attack, we'll use a moral support and just block down. Really going for it, okay. I mean, we're gonna get beneficial blocks, we'll call them. You offend the firms. So, this is gonna block. We kill this. Our wills align. Yeah, this goes to six. You are no King Koo. And this can just go here. And then, do we have lethal In doing this? So we go. No. Um. But we can do this, and then start getting to the point where we could potentially threaten lethal. Oh, nice. That's a nice win. Unfortunately, we didn't get looks in that game, but uh, if we had looks, it'd be the same kind of gameplay. with honor. Okay, Viego, Mordekaiser, and Elder Dragon. 
going to be interesting. I'm hoping that in this game I can potentially find Lux. Because we've not... I only... Well, out of the new cards, Lux is the only one here. Uh, but because there's no J4 in Demacia anymore because of rotation, Lux is like the barrier so, like champion from Demacia. Uh, so I'm hoping that... We can try and get some value. Like, we saw the value that she did the other game, which was uh, pretty pretty cool. So, I'm just hoping that we can see that value again. Nopify in this match was probably pretty good. I'll let you push the two. We'll play DB. Blocking... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Remember when I said I was going to do that thing? Well, I'm not going to do that thing anymore. Ooh, that feels good. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use form up here. Because then it kills his unit and then we get to attack. Um... If I used Nopify, his unit would still be there, and if I dragged it with this, it would still die. So, you know, gotta gotta find the best way. So boost is now available. So maybe I wanna try and hold that up, maybe. Okay, we'll hold three. We can afford to develop because we've got this Nopify, so... Yeah, this is a good Nopify value. Oh, yes. That's why we save it. <clears throat> okay, so this can pull this. This can give plus one, plus one, two... That. Basically, if we can keep the units healthy and keep this uh, boost, um, sorry, spirit keyword spread out. So let's keep this alive. We might get some good boost value, especially on the next attack. So we'll have one, two, three. Aria being three, four, five, six. So we're nearly. Ooh, that's pretty good. So this is like Diego, and we just need to hope that they don't get Challenger. I mean, if. Okay, that's okay. Two worlds, one balance. If only more people sought the harmony you protect. Pretty good. Um, yeah, we'll take the three because I don't want him to get an extra prey. Ooh. So this is going to pull here. Well, is Lux going to level? That's what we need to first figure out. So this is going to pull here. And then this can go like this. Let's uh, let's develop. They might have a ruination, but it's I think it's unlikely. I don't think they run it. That's pretty good because we can trade that off. So, that can go there. The 
So we have another Shen. Oh, Lux gives herself double attack. That's <laughs> pretty funny, actually. Um, and then if he blocks with that, then so be it. We have another Lux. So he's forced to block here, he's forced to block here. Just leave me alone! Okay. We're putting a lot of pressure on him, which is good. That's what we want. See, this is the thing. Lux is only as a three. Like the new cards, there's only really Lux in this deck, but like she's doing she's doing stuff. Yeah, so this is why I wanted to kill those units, because I thought he'd be playing Mordekaiser this turn, which he is. Uh, so we can play... Play Shen. If only more people sought the harmony you protect. My father's flame. There we go. <laughs> Feels a bit desperate. Oh, I guess you do get the extra copy. Oh, this is so bad because I feel like we would have done. Confine and contain. <sighs> you dare detain a crown guard? God, Warden's pray so good for a deck like this. It's actually kind of crazy. Uh, so you're gonna get barrier. What do we buff? This. Then we can do that afterwards. I find them unworthy. Magic and then we can boost afterwards. Oh, Maud's not even dying from this. Oh, no, no, boost, because it boosts twice, right? So, yeah, Maud will be dying. Maud will not be dying. So, we'll keep this just in case he goes for Lux again. But, yeah, this one probably... Not gonna end up in a win. It's very hard, especially when Mordecai's is leveled. I'd be very surprised if we can come back from this. Bro, it's also a pain when these fucking units keep coming back. He's just getting chump blockers. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So we can get, we can play this, and then we get the um, Stand United. No. I need to tell you. I am Luxana, Lady of Light. She is Luxana, Lady of Light. Oh, is this Mordecai's spell? He gets that. That goes infinite. Oh yeah, GG. I mean, I, I can't beat that, so. Our wills align. He actually got, he got the, uh, the infinite, so that's going to deal two. Can cast that four times, so we're down to one. That's stupid. I mean, that's... Oh yeah, how are we ever supposed to win when a opponent has that?
The sad thing is, we probably have lethal next turn. Because we can swap this and get Shen Stan United. It's just the chance that he doesn't have a, um, a spell at fast speed. Yeah, so basically what I'm saying is, if they don't have a fast speed spell, we can win. But it's very unlikely. So, let's see. So, here. 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 So if he doesn't have any fast speed spell, we can swap this with another unit. Oh wait. This had to go at the end. Yeah, I messed up a little bit, but... I could have done it if I didn't put it the other way. I messed it up. This had to go at the very end. I think I could have got it. I think I could have got it. I just messed up though. Damn. But it never breaks. Okay. So this should be another good matchup. Because Barry has beat stats. Okay, good. Good curve here. One, two, three. So this will be a three, two, a four, two, four, three when we attack. That's good. I love the animation. These woods protect their own. So Let's see. Um, yeah, we can probably afford to play this because we're going to play this next turn. And then if we wanted to, like, boost, we could do and still have mana for form up on that. Uh, by the way, this card, probably a little bit broken considering what it actually summons. Just to let you guys know. We do have the one of Bright Steel Formation, which is... um. You know, it was a card that saw a lot of play back in the day, and uh, hasn't seen much since. But uh, yeah, pretty good card. Okay, so they get that. If they attack, we can block with Lux. Because she gets barrier on the attack, so we can afford to at least put her down to one. And I don't think they have anything for one mana. So... We're getting a <laughs> Spritelings beat down. So they could push 4 damage now, max. Hmm. They push no damage. Uh, so this... So we'll go like this. Okay. If they play the... Ooh. Wait, that's a little scary, honestly. Uh, let's... There's a play effect, that. Well, let's, uh, let's kill one of these. We can boost ourselves to trade with them positively. That's no, a play effect, so yeah, we don't have to worry about that. Ideally, we need to, like, get a Shen, I guess. So, let's hope. Here we have a bead of water. 
you can see how the light bends as it enters. You can't see that? Oh, well, anyway, I throw a little refraction in there and look, ah, a rainbow. It took me a long time to learn how to do that. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, that voice line's actually pretty good, though. Yeah, so you get an extra 3-3 um, three, three here. But ironically, this deck is pretty uh, annoying to deal with. I cradle what you could only wish. The eye of twilight sees all. Tell me then, does the world ever get kinder to us? Does the world ever get kinder to us? Is that just a generic line? What does he mean by us? What do you mean? The town god won't fail. So I'm just spreading out the spirit. They're gonna start printing this. So we need to start getting ready with um So we'll use form up here just to kill that. God, these are so adorable, but they're like, you know what these remind me of? Uh, Suicide Squad, where King Shark, the King Shark, is like looking at like the octopus things, and like he's like, oh look how cute they are, and then he like jumps in with them and he starts eating him. That's this. That is this. Okay, so next turn we've got this plus moral support or incandescence. Uh, fortunately for me, I can push that button. So, fortunate there. So let's see if they have another one. And then for the turn after, we have Shen, hopefully, plus a Stand United from this. So we might be able to do some funky stuff. And then from turn nine, we're getting barriers like every time we attack, it's a good defense. Another one? Not another one? You're joking. It is another one. Okay, so we play this here. We were so close to leveling. Now we're gonna go all the way back to stage one. So we'll play this. Then we'll play this, and then this becomes a 3-2 straight off the bat. Um, you offend the ferns. Do we think they have a buff? They probably do, right? Let's risk it. It's not the end of the world if this dies, but we just want to make sure that they can't print this. So they either, like, Sleep this immediately. In which case, it doesn't matter if we blocked or not. But if they buff it to kill this, then it's probably worthwhile because I don't want them pr printing this with sleep. Because then it's really going to become a problem. Okay, so that was their plan anyway. So we kind of just like told them to spend the mana. Ah, so this, into this, into this. Good to know. It's good when the game just tells you what to do. Um, and then from next turn, we kind of just win the game with this. God, they're going to see this and be like, oh my god. Because they're just going to realise that they're never going to win the game. Think. Also, everything here is kind of getting a... Uh, disgusting amounts of... Uh, Stats. So, 
we protect the sacred protector. Okay. Burn away the shadows. Magic brings us together. So the foster block. And then we're going to do this next turn. <laughs> the faster block. <laughs> uh, the funny thing is, as well, that, that we get to kill that then. Because of the boost. Because it's got double attack and spirit. Hell yeah. Get this board out of here. Go on, surrender. Oh, I never got to play that Bright Steel formation, but you know, we would have won the moment we played that, let's be honest. Come on. I'll go easy next time. True, I will go easy. Okie dokie. Shyvana, Morgana, and Elder Dragon. It's going to be interesting to see how this deck performs uh, outside of, um, well, with the new rotation. But yes, we have a one of Bright Steel formation, which... Depending on how this game goes, if we top deck it later on, might be a uh, pretty helpful. So it's like this, this, this. Okay. These woods protect their so you get to push five damage here. And then what we'll do is we'll play Kinku Student because we're going to play Shen on 4. So we want to make sure we get the best value. So we'll do this. We'll block like this because then we can kill it with the Shen giving barrier to the tracker. And then getting a trade there. Sacred Protector is really good as well because it means that if sh this Shen dies, when we know we're going to get another one for turn eight if we play this on seven. We were forged in dragon fire. Uh, okay, let's do that. So we'll get a good block here. That is a really good top deck. I shall show them what it is to fall. It's a shame we won't have mana for it. Away. Huh? So yeah, I thought that might be the case. But like, still dies to a shackle, shackle pull. Um, development is just gonna be a fire spitter probably. So let's think about not doing that. Let's just level the Shen, kill the Morgana. Because we can do single combat, so if he tries to, like, I don't know, try anything, we can kind of stop it. So it was a fire spitter, I was correct. Um, okay, so I want to play this pretty carefully now. So I want to play Badger Bear. And then they can either stand united in single combat. Oh wait, we've got loads of options that we can do here. So. Let's go for... Just Spirit's Refuge. 
And then we have single combat if anything, if you, well, just if you try anything else. I'm very disappointed that we haven't got Lux yet. Nine of twenty. So we can take that out. Go for an open attack. Hopefully. Okay. I didn't actually think they'd run single combat. That's the reason why I did that. So we can do this. Then form up. We might get a surprise lethal. Yes. Nice. Sacred Protector is honestly a very, very strong card. I like it a lot. Okay, so Yasuo Malphite is what Sunny posted. Uh yesterday as a deck which honestly is pretty cool with all of the landmarks it does make sense um what could you ever so me? we'll uh, we'll see how it performs So if we play this, because they're not going to have much in the sense of killing this, I would imagine. Not in Targon Ionia. That's a pretty good card for them. Ramp to Malphite faster. Oh wow, that's really good actually, because what we can do, we can Lux now, play this. Think you're fast? Cute. The light guides us all. I don't do meditation. Okay. Can't catch the wind. So we'll take the six, play this, attack, and then we'll have barrier. So if anything happens. Well, that's pretty good as well. Um. No, I think King Ku student is just actually just too good not to play. So here, here, we'll drag this. Why would you not block here? Interesting. Yeah, so we'll play Caretaker, and then when we use Barrier, we can, uh... at least spread some stats over here. And a good thing about the Barrier as well, is if opponent just taps out, this can grow when we use this, like, really quickly. So, expected that. Stun the strongest. No! It's actually pretty rough. These woods protect their own. These woods protect their own. Don't mind if I do. Master, I am ready for my next lesson. We are pushing some damage here. Shen's gonna give barrier to. Wait, how do I have to order this? So Shen gives barrier to this. Lux buffs up this. 
I guess. So these both get nine on the attack. Enforced equilibrium. Who would trespass here? The crown guard won't fail. Nature blesses her followers. Ooh, I did not miss Yasuo, by the way. Just want to put that out there. Did not miss this man. Hillock being at burst speed, essentially. Well, unit speed. No, it's burst speed, right? You, you can't react to it. It's technically focus. Technically focus speed. But, yeah, it's very frustrating to deal with. Especially when it's on curve as well. Because, like, you just can't do anything. I don't think I have landmark removal in this deck. I probably should go through and uh, change that. Strongest, so that gets taken out. Maybe I do have a future. At least this is the next strongest, so don't have to worry about that. At last, I have found you, Yone. Turn back while you can. The balance has been maintained. So, protect both of them there. Because that will survive on one. We can play. Don't be cringe. Don't be cringe. Right, give me something interesting to the top deck. Technically, I can it must be boost. Done. So, Shen is going to give barrier to this. Okay. I am not afraid of the light within. So these are all going to get boosted twice, so these can get plus two, plus two from this. Humility before power. No more running. So I assume it's stun, stun here. Yeah, that was double Yasuo. So let's trade that off. We are stronger together. The Mafia defends its own. Even I have good. No cure. He's got more draw as well, which is so bad because we are we just have nothing. Form up is not what we needed. If this card, by the way, what could you ever okay. teach me? it's not that. So that's worry. Hey, over here, Wu Ting style. Oh my god! So that's a bit of damage. Uh. That's going to nine. This magic defends and protects. Okay. 
no fight slot. Trying to think what's our best top deck, and I don't think there's anything that we can particularly top deck now that is uh, quite good. But it's interesting that this deck, like their deck, feels scary to play against. Yeah, Shimon Wind is like really good for them. Yeah, GG's. Damn, strong deck. Fair play to them. Fair play. Very strong deck. Darkness, Definitely gonna give that a go. Okay. Jinx and Scion. So this is going to be a pretty aggro deck. And because of that, I'm going to keep the Spirit's Refuge. Something tells me I'm going to need the Lifesteal. Okay. Green Glade Caretaker. Should be good when we get these uh, Kinku students down as well. So we can't really do anything until turn four. It's like turn two, turn three, turn four, turn five if we really need to, but we could play this. Salvaged scrap. Huh. Certainly a card. Wow, this hand is like really <laughs> This hand is like really good as long as the opponent doesn't have anything that deals one to everything. These woods protect their <clears throat> but we got this on four anyway, so. We'll pass. Play the Shen. Opponent won't be able to really attack. Because this will have barrier. The balance requires a watchful eye. Master, I am ready for my next lesson. It's pretty good. Striking looks and stunning wit. Wait, the Shen is leveling. <laughs> so I go. Who goes there? So this gets barrier, then this gets barrier. Then this gets barrier and gets the buff. Then this gets barrier and gets a buff. No, that's not how it works. Well, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Delicate fuck. Ooh, yeah, we're not we're not gonna be doing that. Let's uh. Let's just save that Shen. Uh, support aggro, but just barriers. I have one attack for each one cost ally you've summoned this game. Uh, well, as you can see, you've... oh wait, never mind. This was the salvage crap. I was gonna say, what's this? But that makes a little bit more sense. Moral support. Um, okay. <clears throat> What's the worst that could happen? So, barrier to protect it. Oh my god. We can block one. Pass. We'll single combat the 3-3. Three, three. Then we can just drag this out the way. 
the, the, our hand was actually just crazy there. Absolutely crazy. Everything as it should be. 